Mr. Minister, ladies and gentlemen, Labrit. It's good to be here today in this beautiful and inspiring building, a true landmark in Pardogava, in Riga, in Latvia. It's a pleasure of the Netherlands Embassy to support this event on architecture, urban environment, and the knowledge economy. Special thanks, Paul Jess, to Riga City Architects Office for the invitation and organization of this event. We're glad to cooperate with you. Today, we will discuss how to adapt architecture and urban environment for a true knowledge economy with academic and science centers. We will discuss how to increase the competitiveness of the city by integrating new approaches in our planning. The Netherlands stands for knowledge, innovation and sustainability. We have extensive experience in promoting the knowledge economy and urban design master planning. I'm therefore proud to say that today two very good Dutch experts sitting now in the front row are here. Mr. Willem van Winden is urban economist and professor at Amsterdam University. Mr. Frank Werner is architect and urban designer specializing in design of innovative areas. The slide you see here is the high-tech campus in Eindhoven. Eindhoven City in the Netherlands needed a boost and now hosts this beautiful campus. You see here the strip, which is the part, which is the meeting place where business, scientists and students uh, meet, drink their coffee together. The high-tech campus in Eindhoven is also called the smartest square kilometer in the Netherlands because there are more than 150 companies and over 10,000 researchers and entrepreneurs on this square kilometer. We know for a fact that the high-tech campus has not gone unnoticed in Latvia, as the Latvian Prime Minister last week visited this campus together with a number of Latvian high-tech companies. Knowledge, innovation and sustainability. Competitiveness and innovation are cornerstones of a successful knowledge economy. The Netherlands ranks first in Europe and fourth in the world in the Global Competitiveness Index and third on the Global Innovation Index. One masterpiece of innovation is the Markt Hall, Market Hall in Rotterdam. It's a fresh food market under an arch of apartments. It hosts also restaurants, meeting rooms for business, underground parking, and there's a train station nearby. This uh, piece of architecture also was meant to strengthen one part, in this case the eastern side, of Rotterdam City, and it succeeded. In the first year after opening, in 2014, Markthal received 8 million visitors, which is more than the Eiffel Tower or Tate Modern, I've been told. I'm missing one card. It's the one about sustainability. Um, Netherlands is a forerunner in the field of circular economy. And also in this field, I would like to show you one example. It's the Edge in Amsterdam. Again, not in the central part, but in the southern part of the city, a part that needed to be developed 
and is now an area booming with business and innovative entrepreneurs. When the Edge opened last year, it received the certificate for most sustainable office in the world. It's energy neutral with solar power, power rainwater collection and thermal energy. Lots of Dutch technology are used in the building. For the design, also London architects were involved, because it's a global economy. So perhaps in Latvia, we can have Dutch architects involved. Ladies and gentlemen, the Netherlands Embassy in Latvia is glad to continue to promote exchange of knowledge and best practices between our two wonderful countries, today and in the future. Like the minister has said, Latvia has another 30% to develop, has another 30% of, of potential. And we, of course, would like to work together to achieve that potential. Paul Jess und Weixmi.